Hello Virgo, it's June 2021. Thanks for joining me. I'm smiling. Um, I don't know why I'm smiling, possibly because I like Virgo people. Um, but have a look at the chart. I'm going to animate the chart for you. Do you see there's a couple of very, very important pointers to this 10th house of career this month. Most importantly is your ruling planet, Mercury, which is retrograde up here, along with three other points, Venus, Sun, and the North Node, the Karma point. Venus leaves early. It sort of thinks, ah, force crowd, force a crowd. Reminds me of that Yogi Berra um, saying the famous baseball player. They asked him about a club in town and he said, ah, nobody goes there anymore. It's too crowded. <laughs> so <laughs> your 10th house is very crowded. Venus exited, but the other important thing to watch out for around the 10th, and I'm going to talk about that in a moment, uh, this retrograde planet rules your uh, yourself, Virgo, but it also rules the 10th house, which is Gemini. So there's a very, very powerful link between yourself and the work that you do. And especially in this phase where Mercury is going retrograde, um, you are really reappraising your situation and trying to understand whether what you're doing is in fact what you should be doing. So it's always good to rethink that. Have a look at the moon moving there on the 9th. <coughs> Pardon me. On the 10th, the new moon takes place very close to that retrograde Mercury. Uh, so I'm thinking, I'm just intuiting a little bit here that, you know, you're going through this, you know, let me have a think about this. And then the new moon, there it is, 10th, 11th, surrounding that retrograde Mercury, I think is a point, even though you may not be able to move ahead, I think you come to some conclusion or decision. Mars also moves around that time into the 12th house while the moon makes contact with Venus in your 11th house. The 11th house is very, very nice in terms of uh, fulfilling your desires. Um, Mars is powerful in this 12th house in as much as it gives you the impetus to consider things that are immaterial. So, you know, if there's some aspects of your career, your finances, the material side of your life, you will come to realize under this phase, Virgo, that uh, it's often to do with what's within you, not the circumstances outside. And that in fact, it's the thinking that creates your destiny. So that's a very important uh, point there. And I think that may happen around the 10th on that new moon, which is the key focus around the retrograde Mercury. Speaking of work, and there are some nice aspects there from that retrograde Mercury to the retrograde Saturn in the sixth house. Two, six, ten. These are the these are the uh, sectors of your horoscope that relate to your income, your workplace activity, co-workers, your modality of service to the world, uh, the people around you, and the tenth house, which is the career itself. You've had some pretty good opportunities in the last month when the sun is moving in its. Uh, in the upper part of the horoscope, that definitely shows that there are opportunities. Now, for some of you, you may have been offered an opportunity or have landed something, but the retrograde Mercury is causing you to think, eh, do I really want to you know, move out of what's comfortable, what I know? Yeah, there's that age old sort of question of, well, I've, I'm in the comfort zone. It's not so exciting, but at least I know where my money is coming from. So that's where I think you're going to be challenged. There on the 24th, well, actually a little bit earlier, 22nd, 23rd, you see the stationary movement. The Mercury, your ruler, is apparently dead still in the heavens. That's very, very powerful. And around that time, you will have some opportunity to make a decision, I think, or to correspond with your employer or someone that is offering you some opportunity right now. Notice it goes in its forward motion. And at the same time, around the 25th, you've got that full moon there in your fifth house of creativity, making contact with that transformative Pluto in the fifth house. Then it moves to the conjunction of Saturn on the 27th, opposition to Mars and Venus. So you have some passion that you, you're, you're withholding. You're suppressing that passion. And that is never a good thing, Virgo. You need to come to some understanding of how you can direct that energy, especially with all that work stuff going on up here. You've got the Venus and the Mars, these two passionate planets. 
sitting there in the in well it's above the horizon but this is considered a a secretive or a hidden part of the zodiac and this can show us with look at the opposition here from mars to saturn be very very careful for you this sixth house twelfth house can relate to hospitals it can relate to injuries it can relate to siblings being injured or not being well so a little bit of caution the last few days of june are necessary overall however i think some great strides are going to be made in your work pop it over to astrology.com.au we've got more there we've got the textual version of what's happening day by day the uh, weeklies that i'm doing four times a month now that's going to throw a lot more light on the things i've been mentioning there subscribe if you're new come on even if you're old subscribe then you'll know what's happening here and uh, i'm more than happy to answer your questions drop me a line I'm always happy to hear from you. See you next month. Bye-bye now.